In this video, I want to talk to you about how to change your fonts um, inside of Divi. It's really relatively easy. There are two primary places where you're going to manipulate the fonts. So Divi does have a global setting that will set all of the fonts on a website that are set to default. But because Divi uses something called cascading style sheets, it will let you change fonts locally. And the most local change is the one that is going to be visible um, when the site is published. In other words, the local change within the module is going to trump whatever is set as inside of the theme customizer. So I'm going to repeat that again as we go through this very quick little lesson about how to change your fonts. If you want to change them at the local level, which means you're going to change them at the module level, whether it's a type module or any other module that uses type, you're going to come in here and you're going to enable your visual builder. So the visual builder is going to load. And then at that point, you'll be able to see, you know, your sections, your modules and so on. Um, momentarily why this loads. The other place that we are going to make this change is we're going to make it in the theme customizer, which is where the global fonts are handled. So I'm going to go back down here to that spot um, where we can change fonts. So of course we're going to change them at the um, at the local level here. So we're gonna click on the gear for the module. That's gonna bring up our dialog box here. We're gonna to go to design, and then there's two separate font places. One is text and one is heading text. If we want to change the text, let me go back to content here and make sure. So we have a heading five and a heading two. I'm gonna add some paragraph text so you can see how this works. Okay, so there's the paragraph text. Right now that text is set as default and regular. That means if we want to change this font, we can change it here locally or we can go to the theme customizer and change it and this font would change. So if the text font is default, then you can alter that font through the customizer in one fail swoop. For most of the templates, and I do say most for those of you who are in my template program um, and not somebody who found this video on YouTube and just using Divi, um, if your template, it's come from me, most of those templates are going to have all of the fonts set to a default font so that you can change all the fonts on your website at one time using the theme customizer. However, if you have an older template or if you're somebody who's watching this video that just wants to know how to work with Divi um, and change your font, I'm going to tell you, you may have that font locally changed. Once you've changed it here locally, it's going to trump whatever is in the theme customizer that is global. So I'm going to keep repeating that because eventually I think it will make sense to folks. And I'm sorry if you already understand it and are going, God, I wish she would quit competing. We're repeating that. So I apologize. But some people, it takes a bit for that to sink in and make sense because they don't use this tool all the time. All right, so default font here. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. We're just going to change it to something kind of silly. Let's change it to something even sillier. Up. I am not very good at picking silly fonts right now. Let's do Aquavina script. Okay, so now this shows us our paragraph text. And of course, we can change the text color, the size, all of those things. But I want to go into just the fonts in this particular tutorial. So that allows us to change that font. You'll notice it didn't change these other two fonts. Why is that? Because those are heading fonts. So one of them I think was a heading two and the other one was a heading five or six. If you want to know what they are, and you can tell my short-term memory is that great, not that great, heading five and then heading two. Okay, so back over to our heading text. If we come here, we'll see this font is locally set and it's Laura. And if we go to heading five, we'll see this font is locally set and it is Railway. Now, if we always want to use Laura and we always want to use Railway, I'm going to show you how to change those two fonts so that they're always like that. So we can set these to default and I'm going to set the heading two to default. 
And the default apparently is Laura because that's what's coming up here. But this didn't, this changed, right? When we changed it to default. Just like I did down here with the paragraph text, if you want to keep it as a local change, you can change it here. Be fairly warned though that you will not be able to change them globally unless they are set as the default font. So the best practice is to pick the two fonts that you want to use, one for your headings and one for your text. They can be the same font, no rules against that. But, um, and set those in the theme customizer, which is what I'm going to show you now. To go there, we're going to go ahead and save this page because otherwise it's going to cue me that I need to do that. And then, whoops, I went to the dashboard. Back up. <laughs> I'm going to come here to theme customizer and you can go there from this upper right hand menu or you can choose theme customizer from the dashboard and the Divi menu on the left when you're on your dashboard. The typography is located, um, I'm going to scroll down here so we can see this text that we were working on. The typography is located under general settings and then typography. This is where you could adjust the body text font size for the entire website as long as you don't overwrite it locally or you can check the body height, text size, all of these things. We're working on fonts. So the header font is Laura and the body font is Railway. So this font um, is Laura up here, okay? If I change this here to be a different font, we'll pick Alex Brush because it'll be an obvious one. It will change both of those to Alex Brush. Not such a good plan here, right? Um, if I change the paragraph text though, so body font is railway, you'll notice that's not railway. These are railway. I believe those are railway. Yep, they are. That W right there is a dead giveaway for railway. But this isn't because we changed it locally. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to Laura. And I'm sorry, this is a pain in the butt. You've gotta scroll through all of these until you get to the font you want. Now, fonts in Divi are all um, Google fonts. So if you want to have, if you wanna know what your fonts are, or what your font choices are, you can go hunting around for Google fonts. All right, we're gonna change that back to Laura. And now these are that way. The reason why this was railway locally is because I wanted it to look like railway, but I also may have wanted to add paragraph text. Okay, I'm gonna just X out of this and tell it it's okay for it to go without saving the page. So I hope this has helped you understand how fonts are changed in Divi and how to change your own fonts. So your challenge for this week or from this video is to go change some fonts on your website. Get in there and play with it and see how it works. If you've decided on a font set um, in Divi that you wanna use for your website that is your header font and your body font, then I recommend you go through, check all of your text modules and change the font to default, no matter what it looks like, and then go back into your theme customizer and then you can globally change everything at one time. And if you change your mind later on, you'll be able to change it again globally without having to change individual modules. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.